is wonderful? Santa Flex spreading Christmas joy with the gift that's almost as good as money. An 8x10 glossy of the flat that man. <laughs> Daddy, can we please take a break? I'm starting to get a paper cut on my finger, and Arnaz's tongue is glued to his lip. Yeah, everybody say like Santa. <laughs> Joyeux Noel, Feliz Navidad, Merry Christmas, and Happy Chaw Nuka. <laughs> Imagine a world of peace and harmony sprinkled with Yuletide joy. That is the theme of Dwayne Odell Knox's first annual Christmas Day feast. My place. Tomorrow, 3 p.m., y'all invited. Uh, I'm sorry, dog. I can't make it. Oh, me either. I got plans. I'd rather not be back. Well, come on, guys. I mean, this is my first Christmas in my new place, not living with my mama. I mean, it's gonna be great. I've got it all prepared. I'm going with an international theme. East meets West, North meets South. <laughs> oh, Flex, uh, where can I get seven swamis singing? That's seven swans of swimming. <laughs> oh, good, then I won't need as many chairs. Sometimes in the sky, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner. But I can't trust no one else uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself When there's nobody around uh -huh. oh, yeah. I'll be there to think and then What a true love we are found Make it you against the world Living one on one uh -huh. One on one yeah. Can't nobody break this bond yeah. Living one on one Oh, uh -huh. uh -huh. just because Now we haven't found exciting our first Christmas together ah the first of many more mm. uh, uh, uh. but hold those lips I must warn you there's a dark evil seedy Martha Stewart side to spending Christmas with me what's that Nicole my ex-wife the wench who stole Christmas <laughs> She can't be that bad. I'm actually looking forward to meeting her. Brianna says she's strong, independent, and smart. Well, you get a chance to meet her at Dwayne's extravaganza today. We've agreed for Brianna's sake to uh, have the holidays together. You know, sort of like a peace treaty, except there's no peace and she's no treat. <laughs> I think it's healthy for Brianna to spend this time with both of her parents. It'll be good for Brianna, but I can't say the same for Nicole. See, this will be the first time she's seen me in a serious relationship. You know, I hate to say it, but uh, <laughs> she's a junkie for me. Yeah, she's still jonesing for the flex man. <laughs> Baby, but it's been 15 years. She can't possibly be still hung up on you. I know, I know. It's like a disease, you know, like alcoholism. Except for Nicole, it's flexism. <laughs> And I have to warn you, baby, there's no rehab for it. <laughs> you know what? I thought at first us going to Duane's would be a good thing. But now rubbing menthol on my grandma's chest doesn't sound so bad. I, no, no, no. Look, I want to spend Christmas with you. Look, after we get a quick bite at Duane's, we'll come back over here and make better use out of this mistletoe. Mm, I'm going to tell Santa how bad you meant. Ooh, I've been on Santa's naughty list since 85. <laughs> Hi. 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 Is that a greeting or have you been hitting the eggnog? <laughs> See, I couldn't figure out how to say Merry Christmas in Japanese, so, uh. Oh. Welcome to my international Christmas. <laughs> oh, Dwayne. Your place looks like a winter wonderland. Ah, well, origato, gracias, thank you, and show your right. <laughs> What are the kids getting here? Uh, they'll be here later. They had Kwanzaa brunch at Spirits. Ooh, well, I hope they don't eat too much because I prepared a fabulous spread from 10 countries and one principality. <laughs> Monaco. <laughs> okay, Natalie. Uh, that's probably Nicole, so get some tissue ready. <laughs> Hi. 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 Move. <laughs> here it comes. Nicole, Merry Christmas. So you must be Natalie. Nice to meet you, you and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, do you see that pain? She's so brave to come here, especially with that skunk jacket. <laughs> Nicole, we're all here for you. You're not alone this Christmas. No. No, I'm not alone. Excuse me. Everybody meet Jaden. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Brunch. They're so afro 
Eurocentric. I mean, I've never sung the Negro National Anthem as a Christmas carol. I know, last year, we reenacted scenes from Roots, but this time, we got away. Okay, well, I sure hope Josh likes his present. Oh, well, what'd you get him? A Kobe Bryant basketball jersey. Okay, well, what'd you get Arnez? A vintage Nerf ping pong set. Oh, my God, and Arnez is stupid enough to love that. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put a bow on this one. Do you have any more ribbon? Um, yeah, look in the closet next to the DVD player my daddy's giving me for Christmas. Merry Christmas, Brianna. Oh, Josh, you should have. <laughs> I love presents here. Here's yours. Oh. Open. Can't wait to see what you got me. Oh, cool. <laughs> we can match. Uh, and... You know. Oh, you think you slick standing under the mistletoe. <laughs> Girl, that DVD player was nice. Uh, you, I, I'll go try it on. Spirit, it's, it's all right. I got to go to my dad's house anyway, so. Bye, Josh. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Brianna. You get a kiss on Christmas? Maybe I should just staple some mistletoe to my forehead. <laughs> Look at her. It's just sad, sad, sad. <laughs> she looks very happy, Flex. And Jaden seems like a really nice guy. Uh, Natalie, you're an artist. Okay, you see things with a pretty eye. <laughs> this is the trained eye of an investigative journalist. I see past the facade for what it really is. A cry for help. <laughs> Saki? Hmm. You know the little myth with Nicole? You're upset about her bringing Jaden too. Yes. I have just enough Vietnamese spring rolls for six. Oh, we're out of Japan now. Ah, yes. See, Vietnam ends our Southeast Asia tour. I'm not sure they celebrate Christmas in Vietnam or anywhere in Southeast Asia. In my world, everybody celebrates Christmas. <laughs> so, Jaden, where'd you come from, huh? New York, Boston, Sing Sing? Actually, I just got in from Botswana. I was on safari. Oh, so what, you gonna stuff Nicole and put her head over your fireplace? That depends upon which fireplace you're talking about. The chalet in the Alps, the villa in Italy, or the brownstone in Harlem. I like to keep it real. Jaden is a wildlife photographer. I met him six months ago while tracking killer whale migrations in Nova Scotia. Oh, so, so he was following your parents around. <laughs> Lex, I can't expect you to understand. Jaden and I, we share a love of nature. We appreciate the delicate balance, which is beast, man, and the world around. Yes, Flex, so you haven't lived until you've had the privilege of witnessing the mating rituals of the Tasmanian wolf. It's so primal. <laughs> Isn't he fabulous? Fabulous? He's gay. Everyone, I hope your mouth has shock absorbers because your taste buds are gonna jump for joy. <laughs> Dwayne, why are we having dessert now? Well, actually, in many parts of the world, ice cream is used to cleanse the palate before the main course. Is your name Dwayne? Baby? <clears throat> is everything okay? No, no, it's not okay. Nicole is ruining Christmas by bringing along Louisiana Jones. <laughs> but Flex, you have someone in your life. In fact, you always have someone in your life. <laughs> I mean, you're never without a date, you're never without a girlfriend, you're never without someone. <laughs> Unlike some of us who have to invite their friends over and wear funny costumes and have company at Christmas because your mama would rather be tobogganing with her butcher. <laughs> ah, it's time for Italy to marry Scotland. <laughs> now, don't listen to Dwayne, okay? That was the old me, and it's different with Nicole. That's Brianna's mother. That's a different bond, mother-daughter. No, Brianna, when she sees this, she's gonna freak out. Jaden? Oh, Mom, what a surprise! Oh, this is gonna be the best Christmas ever! Look at this, this freak show! <laughs> So sad. <laughs> no, man, 
she seems happy to see an old friend of her mama's. Yeah, I know that feeling. <laughs> I used to feel that way whenever my mama's old friend, Mr. Arthur, used to come over to visit. <laughs> he would bring me a little toy or something. <laughs> then he would go upstairs in my mama's room and, and they'd bake cookies. <laughs> You can't bake cookies in a bedroom. Yes, you can. <laughs> Chocolate chip. <laughs> oh, excuse me, everyone. I have to go make a costume change. Oh, what, what's this? It's Egyptian sand taken from the Great Pyramid of Giza. Oh. I figure it'll hold you until we go on holiday next summer. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I get to see a mummy with, with my mommy. <laughs> No, no, no. He's not taking my daughter anywhere. He better watch himself before they have to excavate my foot from his finks. <laughs> hey, can you believe this? Honestly, no. And if I wasn't so secure in my fabulousness, I'd say you were jealous, Flex. Me? Jealous? I... See... Oh, see... Ah! <laughs> Nicole, you know in this light, your eyes look like the stars twinkling over the Serengeti. <laughs> See, baby, that's how a gentleman woos a lady. <laughs> now she's dragging Brianna into her sick fantasy. <laughs> Excuse me, Natalie. Brianna, a word. Oh, uh, okay, sure, Daddy. Why didn't you tell me about Jaden? Because Mommy told me not to. Why? Because she was afraid you'd overreact. Daddy, this is the first time you've ever met someone she's dating. She thought she would take it hard since you've... Never really gotten over her. Me? Never, never gotten over her? Yeah. I see. Oh, see. Ah. Daddy, daddy. Daddy. Daddy, give Jaden a chance. He's really a nice guy. Oh, he let me drive his Porsche. Ask him, Daddy, he'll give you a ride, too. <laughs> Dwayne, everything was delicious. <laughs> you liked it? I mean, even the chili from South America? Or, or was it a South American stew from Chile? Either way, it's from a country where the toilet swirl the other way. <laughs> so, Jaden, would you, uh, like seconds? Uh, apparently, that's your thing. <laughs> Actually, Flex, Nicole knows what my thing is. Don't you, baby? <laughs> <laughs> you take Jane across the hall and bring back the Greek pastries I made for dessert? Greek? Ay, chica, no. <laughs> you were supposed to get a Mexican treat to go with my piñata. <laughs> Did I say Greek pastries? I meant Mexican pastries. <laughs> I don't want to go with Jane. Why? It'll give you two a chance to talk. You should get to know him. But I don't want to get to know him. Fine. Jaden, will you go with Flex across the hall and get the dessert, please? Well, actually, I thought I came with dessert. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, I'll go. Give us a chance to get to know each other. Yeah, right. Let's go, Tarzan. <laughs> I mean, listen, maybe we got off on the wrong foot. I can only imagine how awkward this is for you. Awkward? <laughs> Why has it got to be awkward? It's not awkward. <laughs> so, um, you know, Brianna's a great kid. You and Nicole have done a nice job. You uh, think you can do better? Hmm? Any pygmies or tall bushmen running around look like you? <laughs> no, no, no. You know, just me and my camera and Nicole. Now, how'd you ever let her get away? She is so sweet and kind and nurturing. Mm. How long did you say you guys been going out? <laughs> a year? I thought you said you guys met six months ago. Oh, that was just for Flex's benefit. You know how he gets when he feels threatened. He starts to overcompensate, and he gets real competitive. Call that a scar, little man? <laughs> Check this out right here. Uh-huh. Pick up game with Shaq and 97. What do you know about that? OK. Don't touch, don't touch. <laughs> See that? Crocodile bite. Snuck up on me three years ago in Australia. But you should see the teeth marks I left on him. Oh. <laughs> oh, so, so you saying a crocodile can sneak up behind you and you take him down? Can and have. <laughs> OK, well, uh, just imagine that uh, I'm a crocodile. So, Natalie, 
How uh, serious are you guys anyway? Mm, we're moving along nicely. Hmm. We're taking it nice and slow. I mean, but I still think there's a part of Flex that's still connected to you. <laughs> Of course, we're connected. We have a child together. Mm, it's more than that. Really? <laughs> Even though he's moved on, I feel like he still hasn't let go. And I mean, until everyone lets go, there's gonna be drama. Let go, let go, let go. I don't think I have that problem with my relationship. You know, I feel a sense of closure now that I'm with Flex. You mean Jaden? Jaden. Jaden, that's what I said. <laughs> Pastry. Oh, Arnett, thank you so much for pulling me out of that dinner. Christmas with my parents and their dates and my strange godfather eating stranger food is enough to make you forget about Christmas altogether. Then I guess I can keep my gift. Uh oh, -uh, I ain't say all that. <laughs> but here, I'll go first. Oh my God, Brianna, this is so cool. Oh my God, Brianna, this is the best. Oh, thank you so oh, much. You're welcome. Oh, wait, no, this is wrong. I'm, I'm with Josh. Yeah, I'm with, um, Ginger. Yeah. Yeah. So I need you to help us sing off key. <laughs> What's wrong? Remember when we used to stand on my parents' stoop and watch the snow come down? Yeah. <laughs> Lots changed since then. Yeah, you're not kidding. The snow's brown before it even hits the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Remember how we used to sit out there and plan our future? How many kids we'd have, our own house with the white picket fence and a dog named Brian. <laughs> no, it was a wrought iron fence and a dog named Killer. What kind of stupid dog name is Brian? <laughs> I like Natalie Flex. I think she's good for you. You two are cute together. Well, I don't like Jaden. He's too, too... Not you? No. <laughs> Okay, maybe. Actually, it's a, a little more complicated than that, Nicole. You know, seeing you guys together with Brianna, you look like a family. And I wasn't in the picture. I mean, nobody wants to feel like they're being replaced. I knew it. You still jonesing for the flex, man. <laughs> no. I'm serious, Flex. I realize that we can go on and have wonderful relationships with other people. I'll always be Brianna's mother, and you will always be her father. No matter how fractured we are, we're still a family. But this Jaden guy, does he make you happy? Yes. Yes, he does. Well, uh, I'm happy for you. Really? Yes, and that ex-husband who can't stand you but still cares about you kind of way. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, Flex. Merry Christmas, Nicole. Mistletoe, I'm gonna get to know you better. Yeah, this Christmas, and as we trim the tree, how much fun it's gonna be together. This Christmas, is everything okay? Yeah, I'm all yours. I already knew that. I was just asking if everything was okay. <laughs> <laughs> A very special Christmas 
for me Fireside blazing bright We're caroling through the night Mush! 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 <laughs> And now we bring it back to America with our traditional favorite Baked Alaska. <laughs> Love you too, Netta. Flex, they are worse than my mama. Man, that's a Diddy condo association with their rules and regulations. Man, where do we live? In Germany? May I keep my water bed? Nine! 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 Man, that rule protects everybody, especially you. D, I've seen you trying to get out of that water bed. Look like a roach that fell in a swimming pool. <laughs> They're doing you wrong, D. Thank you. You know what else is wrong? You're not sitting in my chair so I could tighten you up. No, no, I don't think so, Walt. Last time I was in your chair, my hairline was as crooked as an Enron executive. Hey, man, that's what you get when you win your barber license in a crap game. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Oh, hey, Mommy. <laughs> Brianna, I was at the library for the last 45 minutes and I realized something was missing. <laughs> you. Why are you here and not studying for the PSAT? Because my nails are W-E-T, mommy. <laughs> and if you mess them up, you gotta pay me more M-O-N-E-Y. <laughs> See, mommy, a spelling game. I am studying. Brianna, let's go. Nicole, relax. It's not that serious. The PSAT is a standardized test. She can't study for it. It's a test on what she already knows. You don't study for the test. You study how to take the test, Professor Flatapp. <laughs> You're right, Nicole. Baby, when you take the test, read the questions and darken the bubble with the right answer. Now study that. I dream of weaving. <laughs> so you do this every time. I say one thing and you have to say the opposite. That's not true. Tall. Short. Left. Right. Michael Jackson. Right. Black. <laughs> right. I don't know. So comes in the slide. You can feel all by yourself. Check. One, two. But I have but I can't turn no one else uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself When there's nobody around uh -huh. oh, yeah. I'll be there to think and then What a true love will you find Baby, you can kiss the world Living one on one One uh -huh. on one yeah. Can't nobody break this bond yeah. Living one, 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 one on one That's just because Now we have a family Taking the PSATs is very important. I come from a long line of women that didn't go to college. I started the tradition of higher learning, and she is going to continue it. You also come from a long line of women who started the tradition of drinking Kool-Aid out of jelly jars. <laughs> go ahead, make jokes, Flex. I wouldn't expect you to understand. You were getting into college regardless. You had basketball. All my babies got are her brains. <laughs> And I'm scared. This is what the establishment wants us to do. Argue amongst ourselves. That's why they made that test culturally biased. I mean, check it. What's the first thing they tell you? Bring a number two pencil. Why? Because a number one pencil is too dark, too strong, too dominant over that white paper. OK, OK, fine. Even if a portion of the test is culturally biased, math is universal. There is no excuse for not doing well in that section. But mom, I'm going to be an actress. If math is ever in a movie, it's going to go straight to video. Oh, oh. I want to underestimate math. See? Now, I use it every day. Uh -huh. For example, uh -huh. if my bookie is heading to my house at 40 miles per hour and I left town 30 minutes ago, in which state would he be breaking my legs, anyone? <laughs> Anybody? Texas. Wow. You know, I got a perfect score on my PSATs. No. no. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And my life has been downhill ever since. You want to know why? Because everyone expects you to be a genius. So I know the chemical composition to a cancer vaccine. But that don't get you women. Now, used cars, that gets you women. <laughs> yeah, used women. I am picky, girl. 
Look, the child is only 16. I want her to enjoy her life. I don't want her under so much pressure. You know, I don't want her to be 34, stressed out and bitter, like you. You're right. That's why, in addition to some study books, I brought along something to inspire her. You see, it's a book about a woman that was trapped in a shotgun marriage, and she was able to escape because she got an education. But, Mommy, this is your wedding album. Exactly! <laughs> Rihanna, to the library. <laughs> It's time for the PSATs. Take your seats. Ooh! Ooh! Pencils are for writing, not for stabbing. So, Brianna, you think you're ready? Look, that Christmas kiss was a big mistake. I wish we... Oh, you mean the test. Yeah, boy, I got this. Spirit, what about you? Well, ooh, I wasn't prepared for that question. Ooh, I'm gonna fail. Hey, don't stress. I mean, everybody's a little nervous. Especially you when you're around me. You look tense. Oh, please, you and your corny. Ooh. Girl, he's strumming my pain with his finger. <laughs> How can you two fool around at a time like this? This is the most important moment of our lives. Girl, if it was that important, all the banks would be closed. <laughs> Besides, I've got dreams. And my talent can't be determined by some multiple choice questions. It's more true or false. Brianna is talented, true. Brianna cares about this test, false. <laughs> All right, students, it's time to begin. And if I catch any of you cheating, you'll be taking it up with the Board of Education. <laughs> Just a little PSAT joke. Don't tell your mommies and daddies. <laughs> okay, begin with your social security number and your name. <gasps> What's my name? <laughs> What's my name? And I thought that chubby red M&M was on the loose. <laughs> Man, why do you always have to be joking about my weight? Don't you think I try? Donut? Ooh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> What's with the paint, man? You see, red door symbolizes good luck. Feng Shui. Ah, <laughs> breaking the uniformity rule. The condo board's gonna feng shui you to the curb. <laughs> the point is, Flex, according to this rule book, in cases of aesthetic alterations, the condo board will only intervene if a complaint is lodged. And I talked to everybody in the building, and they are all for it. So, uh, <laughs> who the man? <laughs> Hi, the man. Okay, looks like you've uh, beaten the system. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Twinkie? You know you shouldn't tempt me, Flex. All right, man, fry it up, and I'll be in there in 10 minutes. All right. All right, I'll go sign a scene. Man. I've never seen parent-teacher night this crowded. Well, they're also giving out the PSAT results, which means college is just around the corner. <laughs> oh, which reminds me, um, you need to come up with $150,000 so she can go to Harvard. <laughs> oh, sure. I'll just reach in my wallet and pull out my million-dollar bill. <laughs> I hope they have change. <laughs> and what are you going to pay for? I was in labor for 17 hours. <laughs> my debt is paid. <laughs> Man, look at all the people here. Reminds me when my dad used to drag me to those parent-teacher nights. <laughs> yep, just like that. Hey, Flex, isn't that Carl Swayze from high school? I haven't seen him in years. Yeah, he was pretty popular back in the day. Yeah, he still looks good. Yeah, if you like a guy with his name on his pocket. <laughs> Man, who would have thought he'd become a janitor? Well, should we speak to him? Do you want to feel incredibly uncomfortable? Oh, what time? <laughs> 
You guys, they're ready for us. Oh, Ooh, that was quick. Oh, yeah, I told them mommy couldn't be on her feet too long. A bad case of the gout. Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Miss Sorrell. <laughs> you must be Brianna's parents. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about Brianna's future. Yes, yes, let's talk about Harvard. Oh, no, no, let's talk about the University of Maryland. Go Terps! No, she's going to Harvard. Go d Smarty Pants. Go Smarty Pants. Uh, and you have a PhD. They just give them away, don't they? <laughs> Divorced parents, huh? Yeah, I suggest we get this thing going before he mentions her toes. Okay, uh, let's pull your file. Uh-huh, here it is. Oh, my! Brianna, could you go get us some cookies? Oh, I see you want to have a private conversation with my parents. Look, I've never said this before, but if they start talking about each other's mamas, duck. <laughs> the cookie line isn't long, so we need to talk fast. According to her PSAT results, we'll be lucky if she can find her way back. So what are you saying? Well, she's a good student, but with test scores like these, I'm afraid she's just not college material. What do you mean she's not college material? Take a look at these. Let me see. Huh? So... I can't take her nowhere. I'm so sorry. <laughs> some flashcards. That way you can look at them on the bus and in between classes and then you can put them under your pillow at night so they can sink into your head while you sleep. Mom, I'm not going to college. I don't want to go to college. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Baby, go to your room. You're killing your mother. Oh. Flex, we, we gotta fix this. What are we gonna do? If she skins her knee, we kiss it and make it better. If she gets into a fender bender, we take the car to the repair shop. If you get these, oh. we buy her a helmet and pad her room. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, Nicole, but the girl's not going to college. What do you mean she's not going to college? That's what we always planned. It's the one thing we agreed on. Hey, that was before we saw her test scores. Oh. Have you seen these numbers? Oh. I mean, 60 out of 240? <laughs> you get 20 points just for knowing your name. <laughs> Did I go wrong? When I was pregnant with her, I ate right. I didn't smoke. I didn't drink. I even put the Walkman headphones on my belly and played classical music for her in my womb. Except for that night that you slipped in that fat boy CD. <laughs> Me? It's, it's your fault. All those 7-Eleven burritos while you were pregnant. You were belly up to a microwave almost every night. You probably fried her fetal brain. <laughs> Look, Flex, blaming each other is not going to do her any good. Okay, you're right. We got to think about Brianna. Yes. Right? We have to consider her future and, and start to make plans so she'll be well taken care of. Flex, what are you saying? God forbid something happens to us, Nicole. Our baby could end up in a group home. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Do, do you really think it's that bad? Numbers don't lie. To DeVry! <laughs> to pick up a catalog! You aim it too high at DeVry! <laughs> Come on, man, get up. Let me have that. Get up. <laughs> oh, man. All right, Walt, this is your lucky day. So don't jack me up, man. Hey, I got you, all right? Frankly, I'm insulted that you would insinuate I ain't the master barber. Now, how do I work these hair cutty things, man? <laughs> you know I'm playing, man. Look, well, I don't have time for your jokes, dog, all right? So focus and cut my hair. Flex. Hey! Hey, uh, don't look at me, Patches. <laughs> right, look, we're just calling the birthmark. Come man, on. Look. <laughs> I'm glad I saw you, Flex. Man, we're gonna have to call the exterminators for our building because it looks like we have some rats. Somebody anonymously complained about my feng shui. Man, I hate that building. I've been betrayed, and vengeance shall be mine! <laughs> Bro, I said, vengeance shall be mine! But I don't say that every day. Yes, you do. Yeah, I do. All right. Anyway, dog, I got some things on my mind. We just got Brianna's PSAT results. It turns out she's not as bright as we all thought. How slow are we talking? You know how long it takes my dad to pay, y'all? That slow. Ooh. Ooh. 
not her IQ. <laughs> get some gas money so I can go to the mall. Oh, the mall? No, you know that's uh, clear across town. You know, a lot of lights and stop signs. And it's not mention those left-hand turns. Uh-huh. Uh, Flex, you don't think that might be a little complicated? What? Complicated, baby. As in, um, <laughs> difficult, or hard to do, not easy. Yes, I know what the word complicated means. Oh, see that thing? God, my baby knows what complicated means. Oh, you'll get there, baby. You know they have a special bus that can pick up girls like you. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but why is everybody acting like I'm stupid? Oh, no, 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 no. Nobody's saying you're stupid, no. Look, after seeing the results on the PSAT test, I'm a little concerned. That means he cares about you, baby. <laughs> Are you still tripping about that test? You can't take that test seriously. Lord knows I didn't. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, I could have done better on the test, but I just didn't care. Wait a minute. You didn't even try to do well on that test? No, I don't need it. I've decided I'm going to embrace my acting talent. The only education I need is the classroom of life and a dialect coach. Good day, governor. <laughs> but, Brianna, you need a backup plan. But that's what soap operas are for. <laughs> I'll see you later, daddy. Uh-huh. I have a soap opera for her as the belt turns. <laughs> Nicole, we need to fix this. Oh, so now we've got some fixing to do. What happened to she has to find herself and I don't want her to be under so much pressure? Oh, come on. We both know what was going on. I was just saying the opposite of what you were saying. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. But you stop that. <laughs> Look, what are we going to do about our brilliant yet manipulative child. Well, one thing's for sure, we gotta make her understand that she needs a backup plan. Mm -hmm. And she's going to the college of my choice. You're right. No, don't argue with me. I'm, you... <laughs> you agree with me? Huh? Was it as good for you as it was for me? <laughs> Hurry up, Hoppity. How long do you have to wear that thing? Don't worry, girl. I'll be back to chasing you in 30 days. Stop it. <laughs> dressed up? Because the college recruiters are coming today. Yeah, but you're only a sophomore. Yes, a sophomore who scored a 200 out of 240 on her PSATs, which means I'm on the fast track to one of the better colleges. <laughs> well, if you got a 200 and you're on the fast track and I got a 215, what track am I on? A track to a boring life, punching in and punching out, 2.5 kids, a white picket fence, supporting a wife who can't cook, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> You know what? You can be my accountant. Because I'm on my way to Hollywood, or should I say, Brianna Wood. <laughs> and my soul needs relief. I'm holding you. Hey, hey, I'm holding you. Who's that? When the world comes down, I look around. Yes, I do. I try to find the way to keep my feet on the ground. You can sing. How'd you end up scrubbing toilets? No offense. None taken. Besides, I don't really scrub them. I just make sure the water stays blue. <laughs> Wait a minute. I know that song. That was holding you by physical edge. That's right. I was the lead singer. I formed that group right out of high school. Holding you was number one. Till calling me bad knocked me off the charts. But you can sing. You can cut another album. I cut four of them. And then they cut off my lights. <laughs> we better get to class. Man, thanks, Carl. I hope this makes Brianna realize that she has to have a backup plan. Yeah, I'm sorry things didn't work out for you in music and all. Are you kidding me? I own a custodial service. I got the contract for the whole Baltimore school district. Then what are you doing here? I'm only filling in for one of my workers who's on vacation. Plus, it keeps me off the golf course and out of the sauna. You know, gives me a chance to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Flood app. You know, Carl is looking better and better to me. <laughs> when the world gets real, everybody gets good. I'm holding on. Nicole, what are you doing here? 
Well, actually, Flex, um, I was having fantasies about us getting back together again. So I come over here every afternoon and I hug your pillows and I smell your shirts. And I pray to God you take me back. Seriously, the results of Rihanna's makeup PSATs are in. Okay, I'm ready for you. It's time to go. Come on. Stop. Okay. Rihanna? Okay, guys, I just want you to know that you were right. I should have a backup plan. That's good. Now, now open it up. And no matter what these numbers say, I did my best, so please don't be mad at me. Oh, we're not going to be mad at you. Just oh. open it up. Come on. And I just want to say Why that. You just I... open the envelope. <laughs> I got a 220. She did! A baby's not an idiot! <laughs> Hey, Dwayne, what are you doing? Somebody snitched on me again. I'm telling you, man, I'm starting to feel like someone is prejudiced against me. It's straight up Dwayneism. Uh, Daddy, Mr. Cross from the Condo Association is on the phone. He wanted to let you know that they resolved some red door issue you complained about. <laughs> I gotta go. Vengeance shall be mine! Love you too, Netta. Congratulations, Daddy! It's a boy! <laughs> Congratulations, Brianna! You moving back in with your mama! Daddy, this is our electronic baby for home ec class. We have to pretend we're married and take care of it for a whole week. Morning, noon, and night. I am hungry. You hungry? <laughs> you want a hot pocket? Yeah. Okay, I'll make it three. Well, Dad. Uh, Mr. Father-in-law. Mr. Washington. Now that we're related, I think I should have a key, don't you? Don't let a little school project cost you your life, boy. What are they teaching y'all in the public school system today, huh? How y'all gonna learn anything from playing house? Hopefully not to become teenage parents like you and Mom. God bless the public school system. <laughs> wow, it's so clean in here. So, you're dating a maid again? <laughs> you know better than that. Your Aunt Bernadette is coming in from Texas on her way to New York on a business trip. And I want everything to be as perfect as she is. I know. She's smart, she's successful, and I can really learn a lot from her. Mm -hmm. Man, where was your sister when I was single? <laughs> Sometimes in the start, you can feel all by yourself. When I can't turn no one else So don't isolate yourself When there's nobody around uh, oh yeah. I'll be there for thinking then Why don't you like where you're from? Living one on one One on one Can't nobody break this bond Living one on one It was just because Now we haven't found Living one on one Yeah, yeah, yeah One on one You know, I had a little move that worked all the time when you were a baby. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Why won't you just shut up? I see you've got your mother's touch. Oh, please let there be child protective services coming to take this baby away. <laughs> all right, that's not funny, Dwayne. <laughs> Do you mind moving your big head? I'm looking for my brother. And I'm looking for the other half of my sister. You know the half that blocks the sun? <laughs> wow, you lost so much weight, you look great! Oh, <laughs> oh that's the look I was going for! Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, hey, Auntie Bernadette in the head! Oh, my God, Brianna! Girl, I haven't seen you so long. You look so big, so mature, so teenage motherish. Mm-hmm, like father, like
same daughter. Mm-hmm, like nothing. This baby's got batteries. It's a project for school. Oh, that's a dirty diaper cry. Time to go hose this thing down. <laughs> My cute little chubby wubby baby sister with the dimples in her knees. Uh, well, you used to hide the M&M. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, I had to lose weight. I was tired of my knees being sticky. <laughs> well, at least this time you can fit on the sofa bed. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting me crash here. You know, with mom in Atlantic City, I already know dad's probably sitting around in his boxes, scratching, waiting for her to come home before he showers. <laughs> So my baby sister is going to New York on an interview to be a lawyer. Well, I am going to New York to interview, but not with a law firm. Uh, Justice Department? Uh, uh, District Attorney's Office. Even better. I'm gonna be a model. I've got an agent and I've already taken some pictures. Man, I don't know, sis. You gave up law to vote. <laughs> agree to fall back on. I don't think it's a good idea, sis. Mom and dad are gonna be ticked off. To send you to law school, dad is still driving that old 86 Volkswagen. <laughs> it's so sad watching him drive to work in reverse. <laughs> I just hope dad doesn't get too upset with me. You know how he gets. And somebody's gotta tell him. Well, could you? Say what? No, it's okay. Never mind. I was just thinking about how when we were kids, you used to fight all my battles. Mm -hmm. But you can't be my hero forever. I was your hero? Well, yeah. I mean, every time I would get in trouble, you would fly in like Superman and save me. All the girls in the neighborhood were jealous because I had a big, strong brother. Even that early bloomer, Samantha? Especially Samantha. I knew it. Anyway, it's okay, because you know, we're all grown up, and it's time for me to stand up to Dad. Let me handle it for you. Thank you, Flex! <laughs> hey, Flex, you got all your newspaper? You need to check my horoscope. Oh, I see it's Foxy Lady and Dwayne Rising. <laughs> hey, baby, Dwayne Odell... Chubby baby Bernie? Is it? Hi, Dwayne. Oh, well, look at you. <laughs> you went off to Texas six years ago looking like a twisted sister, and you come back looking like a William sister. <laughs> yeah. Let me just say I'm glad you're not my sister. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Hi, baby. Hi, the baby sister. How'd you do that? Well, I don't know. I mean, at first, I was a little depressed that there weren't enough boys to go around, and then I had to be a single mom. But it seems I have a gift. Either that or you're just a really bad mom. What's up, little mama? Oh, hey. Uh, we can hit the movies tonight? Um, actually, I can't. Arnez and I have to pick out preschools for Junior. I don't know if I'm feeling this. You and... Goldilocks and too much history. Don't worry, Josh. I have my priorities straight. Arnez may be my husband, but you're my boyfriend. Ah, oh, that's my girl. Okay. All right. See, All right. See you later. Hmm. Josh. Hmm. Arnez. <laughs> How's Arnez Jr.? Uh-uh. You can give him your name, but you can't give him your time. The husband, mm. okay, the breadwinner, leader of my household. <coughs> I've been out there busting my hump at band practice. You've been sitting around lunching with all the other mothers. Look, I wasn't assigned this baby by myself. He's your responsibility too. It's the office. Hey, ginger baby. <laughs> That's not the office, that's just a lot of work. Okay, I'll bring you some chicken soup after school. Bye. Uh, you are not going up over there. You took some vows, in sickness and in health. Now my girlfriend's sick, and I'm gonna go make her healthy, okay? Now, 
till death do us part. <laughs> Single parents meet Fridays at the Y, in case you're interested. Where's my little girl? Daddy! <laughs> Holy cow! That's the first time I've ever been able to hug you and have my hands touch. <laughs> I wish I could say the same. <laughs> so how is my big time lawyer daughter? Uh, Flex, did you see Daddy? All right, what's going on? Uh, all right, I'm coming to sit down. Might as well cut to the chase. <laughs> Remember, Pop, how supportive and understanding you were when I wanted to chase my dream? Are you trying out for the NBA again? For God's sake, son, now it's just pathetic. No, and obviously all that understanding and support must have slipped your mind. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Here we go. Bernadette, your brother has dropped more bombs on me than a bush on Baghdad. This time, I got good news for you, Pop. Yes, yes, yes. Instead of being a boring old lawyer, <laughs> Bernadette is going to become an exciting fashion model. <laughs> Yay? What? Dad, I know you wanted me to be a lawyer, but I was miserable. It's not all courtroom trials and surprise witnesses. It's a lot of reading, filing, and tedium. Daddy, I just wanted some excitement and glamour in my life. Of course you do. So you're not mad? Well, not with you, baby. With you! Me? <laughs> Glamour and excitement? That sounds like something you put in her head. No. Oh, Flex, wait till your mother finds out what you did. But it will kill her. If I'm lucky, I can catch her before she leaves her room. Uh, yeah, well, that went well. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Wait, baby. Where is Arnaz? He is two hours late. You know what? He probably with Ginger. And you're with me. Yeah, but we're supposed to turn in our family budget tomorrow. What type of father is he? You know, Bree, if he were your real husband, you could divorce him and take half of everything he has. And then we could take that half and go on vacation. <laughs> Wait, where would we go on half of what he has? Your house? <laughs> Hey, here, take the baby and act like you've been holding him all day. Oh, I get it. Uh, hold up, let me get this peanut out of his nose. <laughs> oh, hey, Arnaz. What are you... Oh, yeah, that's right, our assignment. Oh, come on in, come on in. I just have Josh here helping me out with our son. <laughs> what? Yeah? I know you don't have some other man here to hold my child. Uh, excuse you. You were the one too busy being Ginger's nurse to take care of your fatherly duties. Why are you trying to hurt me? I hate to break the news to you, bro. Brianna's getting a divorce. Oh, don't worry. You'll have visitation rights. You can see your son every other homeroom. Supervised, of course. Later. Then he ended up mad at me. And then called my mama on the phone and tried to kill her. What? Oh, hey, what's up, fellas? Hey, what's, what's up, baby, man? And fell let. <laughs> Wants adding another woman to his wall of sexual harassment. I mean, who wants to sit here and stare at breasts all day? <laughs> Come on, Flex. You going soft on us, man? Hey, I'm in a relationship now. The only breasts I can stare at are in a bucket of KFC. <laughs> Yo, Flex. Yo, why don't you check out my new hot fudge Sunday? <laughs> mm. Oh, my God. This is no hot fudge Sunday. This is my sister. Oh, oh hey, hey, hey. How dare you bring this this trash into my dad's family establishment? Which one of y'all brought it here? Oh, well, huh? Hey. Which one of y'all? Who brought it here? Uh, Flex, it's your dad's magazine. He's had a subscription to Mahogany Man for years. He's been reading ever since Eartha Kitt poses Mahogany Mate in 1952. <laughs> mm, Marcus, I'm not wearing any panties. <laughs> Listen, Flex, your sister's beautiful, huh? And picture's very tasty. I mean, tasteful. <laughs> Sorry, man. Her booty confuses me. Man. I mean, her body. <laughs> I'll be over here.
You know, I'm not hating or nothing, but it looks very airbrushed. I mean, come on. Those whipped cream peaks are just a little too perky to be real. Okay, all right, stop it, stop it. Y'all talking about my little sister here. Keep your eyes off her peaks. That's right. You know what? We better get this thing out of here before you perverts make a little shrine to it. You know, decorate it with flowers and scented candles. Maybe prop it up on a pillow while sipping a little Hennessy. <laughs> and wishing you weren't lactose intolerant. Man, give me that. <laughs> Man, I'm going to take this home and burn it before my father sees it. Before your father sees what? <laughs> well... Uh, I was wonder, wondering, Dad, if, uh, what would you say if you saw Dwayne eat this paper? What? Oh. <laughs> Tastes like chicken. And left, and right, and left, and right, and left, and right, and pose. Now turn. <laughs> Oh my God, it's spreading. Another hot fudge Sunday in the making. Brianna, take your papoose and vamoose. And left and right. And Brianna. And okay and bye. <laughs> What's got you so upset? Bird, you lied to me. You said you quit law to become a model, not a hot fudge Sunday. Wow, my mahogany man issue. Did they use my cream cheese spreads? Oh, for the love of dairy, just stop it. <laughs> Who are you? Who am I? Who are you? Don't act like you never look at women in those magazines. Now, I remember you and Dwayne sneaking to the basement to look at Dad's National Geographics. I had a thirst for travel. <laughs> like you really cared about the plight of the bush women of the Kalahari. You had a thirst for tribal breasts. Bernadette, I may be a peeper, but you, you you're a shower. Shame on you. Flex, I'm proud of my pictures. For the first time, I wasn't just Richard and Eunice's daughter or Flex's chunky baby sister. I was Bernadette, the hot chick. Yeah, with sprinkles on top. <laughs> now I understand why you stopped through here and wanted to stay with me. You set me up. You weren't scared to tell Dad that you didn't want to be a lawyer anymore. You wanted me to prepare him for the real skin formation. <laughs> trick you into doing anything you weren't gonna do anyway. Tattletale! <gasps> How dare you? you? I'm telling Dad. Oh. Coming in here all naked, covered in cool whip. <laughs> Trying to ruin my precious relationship with my dad. Hello, Daddy? Yeah, Bernadette has something she wants to tell you. <laughs> Bernadette? Burn. Look at our little babies. How'd you get yours to sit up so straight? It's the starch I use. <laughs> Can't pick up my son. You're late. He's been sitting by the window waiting for you all day. <laughs> Look, Brianna, I didn't come here to fight. I came here for the boy and to give you these. Ethiopia, we gotta go down to the arcade and get you a daddy. <laughs> and this is for little Nazi. Oh. Hey, little Arnie, look what your stepdaddy wanted six flights for you. <laughs> Arnie, his name is Arnes Jr. Did it right, bro? Hey, man, look, I'm just saying. Okay, you guys, let's not argue in front of the children. <laughs> This better be good. I had to put on pants to come over here. Just, just a minute, Pop. I think Bernadette needs to be here for this. I can't believe you locked me outside, Nicole. That is so Ow. juvenile. I had to keep you from running away again. Now, Dad, Bernadette has something she needs to tell you. Why don't you tell her? No, why don't you tell her? No, you tell her. Go ahead, Well, you. somebody better say something. My belt hand is feeling a little itchy. <laughs> okay, well, I hate to be the one to break this to you, Dad, but... I posed for a picture in a men's magazine. Ha ha, I beat you. Well, he's gonna beat you. <laughs> is that what this is all about? I saw that picture. I didn't care for it, but I'm too old to throw a fit over it. 
Besides, when you told me she was going to be a model, I had a feeling there'd be some posing for the camera involved. <laughs> That's it? You're not upset about it? Of course I'm upset. She could have mentioned the shopping article. <laughs> Danny, this isn't fair. Whip her. He's not gonna flex because he loves me more. That's not true. I really can't stand neither one of you. <laughs> you, young lady, are a spoiled little brat whose naked butt is gonna pay me back for law school. Dad! And you a tattletale, mister. <laughs> now, if the two of you will excuse me, there's a foot-long meatball sub waiting for me at home, and I am gonna eat it on the good couch with no TV tray and no pants. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll call a cab. Burn up. I'll take you to the airport. But I'm sorry I disappointed you. Yeah, me too. Look, Flex, I know you hated those pictures. But they're a stepping stone, you know? Something to jumpstart my career. Yeah, and a couple of old men's hearts. <laughs> oh, come on. I'll be on the cover of Essence before you know it. I just hope we can get past this. I'll try. I'll never eat whipped cream again. <laughs> <laughs> I guess my uh, little sister is not my little sister anymore. She's a grown up. Oh, can I be your grown up little sister? You'll always be my Superman. You'll always be my kryptonite. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I guess this homework assignment just got me thinking. I'm not ready to be a husband and a father. It just gets to me seeing Josh with you and my son. You know this is all make-believe, right? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. No doubt. <laughs> for now. Love you too, Netta. Honey, what happened to all the lights? Your hair doesn't look that bad. No, we're having a romantic evening together and watching the fight. Yeah, yeah that's cute, honey, but uh, fights and romance don't go together. Uh, unless you're in Thailand with 20 bucks. And I guess my new bustier isn't appropriate either. <laughs> Oh, it's very appropriate. Uh, any chance I could get you to stand next to the TV? Oh, baby, you make me so hot. Oh, hey, Natalie. Um, Daddy, I need to ask you a favor. There's a few bucks in my wallet. You can stay out till midnight. If you break curfew, you better be bleeding. Daddy, I want to throw a slumber party for Spirit's birthday. Can I? Go for the ear. Go for the ear. Daddy, please, I'm her best friend and it's her sweet 16. Oh, not the rest, ear. <laughs> Natalie, can you please help me? Sure, Brianna. Oh, what? Woman, are you crazy? We're in the middle of the fight. Flex, a sweet 16 slumber party is a rite of passage. It's the last time girls get to be girls. You're already 16, aren't you? <laughs> not me, Daddy Spirit. So? Fine, yes, whatever it takes to get the fight back on. Oh, thank you, Daddy. I'm on the coast spirit right now. Nine, ten, it's over, folks. The fight is over. So where did you want me to stand? That fight was pay-per-view, baby. You better get to dance. <laughs> Sometimes in the start, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. When there's nobody around oh, yeah. I'll be there to think and then What a true love we are Baby, you can see me Living one-on-one One-on-one uh, one. yeah. Can't nobody break this bond yeah. Living one-on-one one. Oh, 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 Now we have a better Living one-on-one 
Let me get this straight. She turned off your TV at your house? Play, I hope she tripped over the cord. <laughs> she got her hands on the remote. Oh! What happened to my life? It's been so long since I've been in a relationship, I forgot about all the stuff you have to do. Like talking. <laughs> Sometimes the background music in my head drowns her out, but I'm pretty sure she's still talking. <laughs> When I was with Stacy, you know, we used to go to the mall and spend the whole day just talking. <laughs> you know, we'd browse a little, then, uh, then we'd split a Cinnabon and laugh at all the single, lonely people. <laughs> now I eat the whole one by myself and watch people laugh at me. Dwayne, well, baby, it doesn't matter what you do. People gonna laugh at you anyway. <laughs> so, yo, Flex, how'd you get away today? I let her know that it's no longer sat her day, it's sat him day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm the king of my cats. That's how I'm that. Yeah. Yeah. Flex, you ready to go antiquing? Ooh, antiquing? I, I thought that was Sunday. Hmm, obviously it was sat her day. <laughs> <laughs> I love antiquing. You have to go to Yona's down on Charles Street. They have the best collection of Rococo. Rococo? Does that come with shrimp or chicken? <laughs> oh, here's a crazy thought. Uh, Dwayne, why don't you go antiquing with Natalie while I help walk with that thing he needs me to do. What thing? It's a private thing. <laughs> I don't mind telling. Flex is going to give me $200 to start a fund for handicapped horses at Pimlico. I'm telling y'all, nothing is sadder than a horse in a wheelchair. Just say you don't want to go, Flex. Wow, babe. I think it here, and it comes out there. We think a great team. <laughs> Come on, Dwayne. Oh, this is gonna be so great. <laughs> I hope you like Cinnabon. <laughs> hey, did you two have fun antiquing? <laughs> Can you say Nirvana? <laughs> well, it sounds like we all had the perfect day. What did you do, baby? Absolutely nothing. In my underwear. <laughs> Can you say Nirvana? <laughs> <laughs> so, baby, are you ready to go to dinner? Yep, Dwayne, I had a wonderful time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> What's tomorrow? Nat needs help planting azaleas on her balcony. Unless you want to help me, Flex. Oh, no. Uh, I, I mean, you know, you need a green thumb to garden. Uh, I, I, mine's black. <laughs> but I'll come by and admire your azaleas later. <laughs> this is sweet. We make a great team. We do, don't we? Yeah, yeah, us, us too. <laughs> Pizza. <laughs> so, Daddy, which color do you like best? Passion fusion or fuchsia passion? Uh, which everyone doesn't smell like a uh, dumpster. <laughs> Thanks for ruining my appetite. Oh, Daddy, are we bothering you? <sighs> my head hasn't hurt this bad since your mother said I do. <laughs> I'm going across the hall to your Uncle Dwayne. Somebody chokes. If there's a fire, your grandma's phone number is on the fridge. Wait, are you sure you want to go? We're about to pluck, and you can use a tweed. I got to go. Bye, Daddy. Bye. Oh, girl, I thought he would never leave. <laughs> oh, look, there's boys crashing our party. OK, Spirit, lock the door. We got two hours before the basketball game is over. <laughs> Guys, what a great surprise. What? You told us to come. You even gave us Banaka. Let's get it on. Come <laughs> on, Tiger. Y'all just eye candy. Now follow my lead, okay? Ah, the boys dressed up party is wild teenage hygiene. Nothing worse. This is how I like it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Imagine oh, his best oh, friend chilling with oh, watching the game, you know? You know, no teenagers plucking eyebrows, no girlfriend trying to control a remote. <laughs> you know, just two men hanging, caveman style. Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. <laughs> Natalie, what are you doing here? Dwayne and I just got back from Flower Mart. Remember I told you they were having a sale on hydrangeas, and then you told me to say hi to Dranger. Man, I'm funny even when I'm not paying attention. <laughs> Thanks for the flower mart thing. You are saving my life. <laughs> Man, what are friends for? And that dog is cool. You know, last night, when we went to that one woman play, Taste My Tears, <laughs> well, we laughed, <laughs> then we cried. <laughs> You're so cleansing. <laughs> Wait a minute. Natalie, I thought you said you were going to see that play with one of your girlfriends. Uh, all my girlfriends do is complain about how there are no good men left. Dwayne never does that. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Dwayne, I forgot to tell you, I got us tickets for the car show tomorrow. What? Yeah, they got the James Bond Thunderbird there. I hear Halle Berry's butt print is still in it. <laughs> oh, oh, but Dwayne, don't forget, you promised tomorrow with the whole Mexpo. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Flex, but a promise is a promise. <laughs> but the first 500 people get a free wicker parasol. <laughs> I'll get you one, too. Oh, why don't you keep it for yourself? Every man should have a pair of something. Okay, my turn. I never hid in a boy's closet. Ooh, uh, me neither. <laughs> Yeah, the first three things. I was just sort of hungry. Oh. <laughs> okay, my turn. I never kiss Arnez. Ooh. Ooh. All right, all right. You gotta kiss a few frogs before you get your print. Go! Did you hear the question? It was about Arnez. I know. Go! What do you mean? You kissed Arnaz? When did you kiss Arnaz? Uh-oh. It, it was a long time ago. Well, why didn't you ever tell me? I don't know. I guess I forgot. You forgot? How could you forget? Yeah, how could you forget? Shut up! Well, there must be some reason why you wouldn't tell your best friend. It doesn't really matter what happened back then. What matters is that you didn't tell me, Jezebel. Ooh. Whoa! Whatever. Can we just get back to the game? Fine. <laughs> I never <laughs> should have thrown this party for you. Ooh! OK. <laughs> My turn. I never should have let you. <laughs> what was so important, Flex? I don't like you and Dwayne spending so much time together. I'm sorry. But it's over. What? You and I are breaking up? No, you and Dwayne are breaking up. <laughs> oh, I see. Listen, sweetie, I've been through this before, and you're just going to have to get used to it. <sighs> you're dating someone who's kind of attractive. <laughs> Unfortunately, men are drawn to me. Let's face it, this has caused many a car pileup. I'm not worried about you. I got you. This is about Dwayne, Little Miss Fender Bender. He was my friend first. Plus, you should be ashamed. You're acting worse than a teenage girl. No, I'm not. I can't believe you're acting like this, Brianna. Arnaz was my friend first. <laughs>
เล็กๆ You two deserve each other. So what? Uh, you want to watch the game here? Well, I mean, I'm not gonna watch it alone, huh? <laughs> you know, maybe we can uh, make some meat sandwiches and do what men do. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> oh shoot! I gotta put my Snapdragons in some water. <laughs> Hey, stranger. Hey, Dwayne. I haven't seen you in a couple of days. What's going on? Well, I just uh, got finished doing my yoga. <laughs> my bones are so limber I could uh, surf and so late. <laughs> so, uh, you and Flex doing something today? Mm, not really. I was just gonna surprise him with some coffee. Oh. You know, there's a there's a sale at linens and things. <laughs> We shouldn't. I know. I'll drive. Let's go. <laughs> Stuff. Tell her I am keeping the knife that she stabbed me in the back with. Come on, Brianna. It's not like Spirit lied. She just never told you. That crazy logic might work with you and your buddies, but Spirit was my girlfriend, and girlfriends don't keep secrets, especially if they're about a man. Wow, I'm a man. No, men don't wear T-shirts with you who stains on them. <laughs> and anyway, you shouldn't be talking about stuff you don't know about. Oh, I think I know plenty. Are you sure this isn't about us and the fact that it was me she kissed? Huh? 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 Uh, excuse me. Don't flatter yourself. This is strictly a girl thing. Here's the girlfriend rule: you don't kiss a guy and then let me kiss the guy without telling me that you kissed the guy first. <laughs> Spirit and I have history. We've done a lot of things together. We even took a bath together when we were three. You want to get mad at her for that too? Or maybe you want to get even? Honest, just go. <laughs> Brianna, you're a lucky girl. Cause you have so many friends, you can just throw a good one away. Are you sick or something, man? I'm used to beating you, but 15 or nothing, twice. You okay, <laughs> man? You were just on fire today. You were the racquetball king of the world. See ya. Hey, man. <laughs> What's your rush? There's an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie playing down at the Cineplex. I hear this time he's battling arthritis. What's going on with my finger? As much as I love to, man, I have got to get to work. Again? You've been working like a dog all week. Oh, I get it. Dwayne's place. Hello? Hello? I think I dialed the wrong number. Hmm. Who, who was it? I don't know. They hung up. Huh? Well, I've been getting a lot of those lately. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, hello. Oh, oh, oh! Hi, Mama. Yeah. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> no, I'm I'm just here with Flex. Yeah. You remember Flex, don't you? Uh huh. Wh what? You're locked in the freezer, are you? Oh, okay. I'll be there right away. <laughs> Man, I keep telling that woman keep the Klondike bars up front. <laughs> See ya. Uh, you want some help? Oh no 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 no! When Mama gets stuck in the freezer, she kind of you know freaks out, and she's usually naked. So <laughs> Mama likes it when I look nice. Hmm, he's never been in a rush to get her out of the freezer before. Strange calls, people hanging up. Let's see who Star 69 gets us. Victoria's Tea House. Victoria's Tea House. Those two time and tea guzzlers. Excuse me. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I meant to think that. Hi. Here's all your stuff. Wait. Is my red bell sleeve top in here? You mean my dad's oil rag? <laughs> oh, I remember this. Our T-shirt from Six Flags. We rode every roller coaster that day. Oh, look, there's your lunch. <laughs> Is this your way of trying to say you're sorry? Maybe. It's just that since we're best friends, I thought you would have told me about kissing Arnez. Rihanna, that kiss with Arnez was nothing. We were 11 and playing spin the bottle. So he didn't smell like peaches back then? More like old soda. <laughs> Oh, girl, are we friends again? No. <laughs> okay, we are now. Okay. <laughs> okay, girl, it's been four days. We need to catch up. 
Do you think our drama might have been because you still have feelings for Arnaz? Do you want your birthday present? Won't bring it up again. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you for waiting for me, Natalie. Flex just needed his Dwayne time. Don't we all? Wait until you taste this marmalade to die for. Everything just looks lovely. I Aha! <laughs> what do we have here? Uh, Flex, it's not what you think. Oh, oh, it's not. Well, I think my best friend and my girlfriend are sneaking around behind my back having hot tea. Okay, it's what you think. Let's calm down. Calm down? How, how, how could you do this to me? Shh, yourselves. I'm sorry, Flex. It's, once I tasted the sweet nectar of feminine sophistication, I, I just couldn't let it go. Oh, really? So this, this tea sipping is worth risking 30 years of friendship? You get scones, too. Yeah, well, I hope they come with memories. You know, I should join you two and suck in some of this sophistication. Ooh, I'd stab a buddy in the back for this. Okay, Flex, that's enough. Now, we've been best friends ever since you carjacked my hippity hop. You're my best friend, but you're not my only friend. You just have to accept the fact that I have lots of friends, and now I've made a new one in Natalie, who allows me to express my civilized self. Can be civilized. Shh. No more strawberries, Henry. Flex, don't you think it's unfair for you to expect Dwayne to be at your beck and call? He's not at my beck and call. He's just always there when I call. Why can't you just share him, Flex? It's not like you don't have plenty of other friends. But but what? Look, I know plenty of people, and I have other buddies, but I only have one friend. When you meet your best friend at four, you don't exactly have to make other friends. Well, Flex, I feel the same way. But you said you had lots of friends. Yeah, I said I have lots of friends, but not lots of friend friends. I mean, Natalie's cool and all, but she wouldn't get one of my kidneys. <laughs> what? Well, I might give you a ride to the airport or help you move, but an organ? Ooh, baby, find a healthy cousin. <laughs> you, you really do that for me? Absolutely. I mean, you're my dog. I'm sorry, I was tripping, man. It, you know, I won't get in the way of this ya-ya sisterhood. Ya-ya! Uh, ya-ya! So that means we're on for the yarn show tomorrow. Oh, hey, yarn show. Oh, pfft. oh Natalie, yarn? <laughs> no, this brother draws the line at yarn, all right? <laughs> Auto show? Uh, Halle's butt. <laughs> <laughs> Buy my ticket, I'll meet you by the crochet booth. <laughs> Frenchie, uh, let me get some of them scones. Excuse me? I want some scones, man, scones! Uh, with, with some whipped cream, too. That's Devonshire. Yeah, 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 some of that, some of that. Put the flat up, man. What's that over there? You have not seen me. Turn around, turn around! <laughs> Love you too, Netta.